Hello everybody, my name is Florian Leder. I'm Vice President Market Segment Mobile Network Testing at Rodeon Schwartz. And today I have the pleasure to talk about a new approach of measuring network performance and quality of service in 5G networks. Before we talk about 5G, let's have a quick look on the methodologies uh, that we currently use in order to test mobile networks. Let's look a little bit in the past. When we look at 2G, 3G, 4G, we experienced over the time a quite big increase in the number of services and applications and in consequence, of course, also in the complexity of the ecosystem. And that, of course, had influenced significantly the way how we tested. While at the beginning, in 2G times, where we had just voice and SMS services, the main focus was on testing the physical parts of a network, uh, means testing spectrum, testing coverage, testing interference. Uh, nowadays, um, the testing has been shifted more on a quality of experience way means to focus on the subscriber's perception. How do the users, the mobile phone users, experience the mobile services, the quality of service on their end device? And in consequence, of course, also the tools have been changed. So instead of using um, spectrum analyzers, uh, scanners and so on, which of course are still important, uh, the main device today is the smartphone. Tests are executed and running on smartphones and the aim is to give an operator a true view on the user's perception. So now with 5G, the landscape is changing. You all know that 5G was designed in order to serve different use cases. And those are enhanced mobile broadband, EMBB, ultra reliable low latency communication, URLLC, and massive machine type communication, MMTC. The network is complicated and it serves different use cases. What implications do we have due to 5G? First of all, we have new players in the market, new revenue streams for mobile operators. If we just look to, for example, the automotive industry, where the connected car use case is based on 5G technology, or if we look into the smart factories uh, area, where the production line, the robots are connected via 5G networks, we see that we have new revenue streams and in consequence also new demands on the network and in consequence in the testing methodologies. Using more machines in a 5G environment, of course, leads to new use cases that are non-human anymore. And we see also a trend uh, to have more use cases that are interactive. It's not a one-way download that users are doing. We have an interactivity between a robot and the network who receives commands and responds to the commands that they have been fulfilled, for example. And another trend that we can see is that all those services become more critical. Some of them are even mission critical. If you just think on a connected uh, factory, if something does not work, if communication is not possible, the robot crashes into the wall. All those trends have an implication also on how we test the networks. So we see that we have an increased number of use cases and those use cases have different demands. They require different quality aspects. Another trend is that due to the fact that we have new use cases and we have many of them, we are not able to design for each of those use cases and those applications a dedicated test case. A dedicated test case with KPIs and thresholds and uh, uh, a test case that really is focused just on this use case. No, we need to have a concept 
where we put use cases into traffic patterns and emulate them. Saying that, we see now a trend away from quality of experience back to quality of service, which is also clear because a machine has no emotion. We don't talk about experiences of a machine. We talk now about quality of service. And one main aspect here is interactivity. So interactivity is key for 5G services. So what did Rudy and Schwartz do? We have now implemented, in order to test those 5G use cases, a so-called interactivity test. And the my main idea of this test is to have basically one IP test that produces one score and reflects interactivity and gives you one score on how good is the service for different use cases. Interactivity from our point of view covers bitrate, latency and continuity. So those are the three aspects which we define the interactivity test for and that this interactivity test is covering. What are we doing? We are sending a UDP stream to a server and the server is reflecting it. And we use for that not the ping signal. Ping is not accurate enough for that. We use the so-called TWAMP protocol, two-way active measurement protocol. And uh, that is the right methodology to test interactivity. The outcome is a score, one single score, that combines latency, delay variation, packet loss into one single score. So what is the beauty of this test case? With this test case, we can simulate, emulate different use case patterns. In this example here on this graph, we have created a model for e-gaming. And you see here on this graph the curve, how good a network has to be in terms of bitrate, latency and continuity, so that we can still say this is perfect, tolerable, critical, or it's not good enough anymore for e-gaming. With this model, we are able to simulate different patterns, use case patterns, and that means that we have a model where we are scalable. We can adapt that to other use cases, like for example, virtual reality retail shopping, where we see that we have not so strict requirements anymore, the curve is more on the right, or Drone control, where we need very strict requirements because interactivity is very important. So with this new test approach, we can, by means of parametrization, emulate different use case classes. And that's the beauty of this concept. For us at Rudy and Schwartz, standardization is very important. Therefore, we try to put this test methodology currently also into the standards. We believe in standardization because this gives transparency how quality is measured. And this is important, especially also now in 5G with all those new use cases. Summing up, the new 5G use cases demand a new way of measuring quality of service for each individual application that is new. The quality of service has a different meaning in machine type communications. We are not focusing only on humans anymore, so we need a different concept, different thresholds and KPIs. Monitoring becomes, I would say, even more important than it has been in the past, because we have now mission-critical applications that need to be tested. We have now this interactivity test, which gives you the possibility to test 5G service and emulate, simulate different patterns. And standardization is important in this game and we are working there. We are trying to influence and put our methodology into the standards and make it transparent to the industry. That's it. Thank you very much for listening and for your attention. And please remember, Rudin Schwartz is the one-stop shop for quality of experience network testing.